the term quantum computing has a word computing in it so uh, what is the meaning of computing so let's see what is computation so this term may seem very simple and we take it for granted but whenever somebody asks you the definition of computation we are puzzled what is the definition so we start giving out examples of computation but that's not enough we need to generalize all those examples uh, so we need to arrive at a common definition which generalizes all of those so let's see a formal definition of computation a computation can be thought of as a physical process uh, which has finite which is finite in time with fixed set of states so uh, a set of distinguishable states and uh, that these states should be distinguishable from each other and uh, why physical process because a computation can be seen purely as a physical phenomenon occurring inside a closed physical system which is called a computer so a computation has to occur under a physical system called computational system or computer and uh, some examples of computer can be digital computers mechanical computers quantum computers etc and uh, these computational systems are mathematical dynamic systems with discrete time and discrete state space and uh, if these systems don't have a set of distinguishable states then we don't call them computers and uh, it is often said that uh, computation transforms or processes information so there comes the notion of information so what is information so information is an interpretation of a particular system's states so how do we interpret a system's state uh, that's where information comes into picture so uh, since a computational system has a fixed set of distinguishable states i choose the current state of the system to be the information it presents so the system may have n states but there will be one current state we can denote that as the information that it's presenting right now so now we have uh why now we know uh, what is a computational system and what are the states of a system how do we interpret the system states that is how would we read information from it so how to read information from a system and uh, we may be uh, guessing that uh, this information is directly related to the states of the system and uh, we need a way to uh, read out that information that the system holds so we need a notion of quantity of information we need to quantize the information and uh, the first mathematical uh, model the first mathematical notion of quantity of information was introduced in 1948 by an american mathematician shannon and uh, he quantized information as uh, this formula the shannon formula which is minus uh, summation of all the states so a system has n states in this case we are talking about a system which has n states so we sum over 1 to n so because this system can be in any of n states either 1 2 or nth state so we need to sum all of those and pi denotes the probability that the system is in a state i and this is the logarithm base b pi again this same probability and uh, we can simplify it for a systems a computational system where uh, the probability of all the states is equal then uh, pi will naturally become 1 over n because there are n states and all the states are equiprobable so it will become 1 over n so this formula becomes minus 1 to n and 1 over n log b 1 over n and why this minus sign here 
because this pi, which is the probability that a system is in state i, has to be less than 1, because the probability is, is between 0 and 1. So log base b, where b is some natural number, of a quantity which is less than 1 will be negative, and we want the information to be positive. So all of these log pi's are negative and their sum will also be negative. So we add an additional negative sign in front. So now, uh, and also uh, the point to note is that uh, if we sum all the probabilities, all the pi's, then it has to be equal to 1 because uh, the system will definitely be in one of the states. Now uh, we can move it to numerator. So this is n raised to the power minus 1. So this minus term will go away and this will become log b n. And we are adding it n times and uh, it's not dependent on i anymore because we have arrived at this probability. So n times of this will become 1 and this we remove the summation sign. So it will become log b of n. So this is the case where we have a system with n states and all states are equiprobable. So uh, we can say that a system with n states, equi equiprobable states, uh, has the information log base b of n. And here, by convention, the smallest natural base of log is 2. So uh, it further simplifies to log base 2 of n. So let's see some of the cases. So let's say uh, the system has one state. So if n is equal to 1, that is the system has just one state. So here there is no uncertainty. So the system is guaranteed to be in this state only because this is the only state that the system can be in. So uh, if you look intuitively also, there is no information that is conveyed by the system. And if we go by this formula also, the information will be log 2 of 1, which is equal to 0. So a system with one state has no information in it. Now the next comes n equal to 2. That is the system has two states. So it can be either in state 1 or 2. So here we have just one information. And if we go by formula log 2 of 2, 2 is this n. So it becomes 1. So this is the smallest amount of information that is contained by a system, computational system. And we call this the smallest amount of information as bit. So bit is the smallest amount of information that a system can hold. So now we have the notion of bit. So we can measure information in terms of bits. So imagine a system which stores n bits. So the system store n bits, then what does this, that mean? So n is equal to amount of information that is log 2 and let's say number of states is s, then 2 raised to the power n is equal to s. So if a system uh, stores n bits, then this system will have 2 to the power of n states. And this is the same amount as the amount of integer numbers which we can represent by n binary digits. For example, if we use one bit of information, one bit, then we can have either 0 or 1. So one bit means 2 to the power 1 states. Similarly, if we have two bits, then 2 to the power 2 is 4 states. And what are those states? We can have 0, 0, we can have 0, 1, we can have 1, 1 and 1, 0. Similarly for 3, 4 and other states. So we can enumerate the states. We can assign each state its number. So let's uh, see one more practical example. Let's say we are talking of a system uh, where we flip a coin. So a fair coin. For equiprobable state, we need to have the assumption that the coin is fair. So it can have two states. If we toss a coin, it will land and on the top, 
it may either land with head or tail so it has two states or one bit of information similarly if we flip two fair coins simultaneously then we can have four states or two bits of information so what are the four states it can be head 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 tail 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 and tail head so i hope uh, i was able to convey the meaning of computation and information we will further study about computational systems in some more detail in the next lesson